Hey guys, Dark Recycle and FPV. Let me adjust this thing a little bit. And I don't know, I'm short, but this crap's like all over the place. Hold on. Let's see if I get this to work better. Better? No? Maybe? Mm. Maybe if I back up. Is that better? Oh, I fit it. All right, anyways. So uh, we are back now, and I'm looking at my screen here. So uh, we're working on the horse, uh, the X10S. Let me show you what we're talking about here. So here we go. Uh, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little sucker right here, wherever I put it, this right here. That is the adapter you need to make this turn into an access compatible receiver or transmitter. I mean. So for those of you that have an X10 and X10S that is not an express or access uh, compatible, just add this right here and all of a sudden, boom, you're access compatible. So uh, let me check a few things out though, just to make sure, okay. <sighs> all right, so um, I will tell you right now, right off the bat, uh, put these on here to protect the sticks and then just tape them on so that your sticks don't get bent out of shape, okay? And from there, and I already did a video on this and the funny part is I completely forgot um, if I had to, I remember taking these off and then going, man, I didn't have to do something. So I don't remember what part of it it was that I <laughs> didn't have to do. So we're just gonna start like this and I'll figure it out as we go, okay? So let me go ahead and take the four screws out that are right here in front of me, and then we'll go from there. And this is important. This video actually will lead us into the R9M, not the R9M regular, but the R9M 2019 Access Edition, because I have a customer that said he was having a hard time setting it up and binding, and I've been promising him I'll do this video, but I don't want to sit here and just grab a regular X10S Express because that doesn't, I can knock two birds with one stone on this one. Oops, hold on, my screw just dropped, let me grab it. All right, so there's the four screws. And I really want to say that I remember thinking I didn't have to take those pieces off, but I, I have a feeling now that I've got a tape, it's not gonna help me anyway. Um, let me see if I can just turn this tape. Let me turn it up a little or turn it down just about right here. Just to try to hold that in place. And I think we're going to get an interruption from a phone call or something here in just a second. Uh, that's that's my son actually calling me or texting me, so bear with me a second. Yeah, you see, that's it. I remember I took these rubber pieces off before, and then I realized I didn't have to. You see my son saying, hello, what is that? Uh, bear with me, guys. Uh, I'm going to log into my son's computer real quick to help him out with something. I know this interrupts our video, but it'll only take me a second. Uh, where is it? It's right here. So let's get that. Come on. There it is. Okay, we're good. No. All right, so getting back to this now. So what we're gonna do is, uh, let's go ahead and take the back plate off. So cool, see, I actually, at the beginning, when I first took one off, man, I thought you had to pop all these pieces out and you don't, so spare yourself, it's only four batteries. So this is our focus right here, okay? This is the uh, IXJT, this is the uh, uh, model that does not have access on it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the one that does have access on it, which is right here, okay? And uh, we are going to, or this is the XJT, I mean, and what we are going to do is we're going to make sure that we lay this out properly. Uh, yep, and that's perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we want to just basically very carefully, I'm going to see if I have my razor blades here because everybody's taking my stuff. Samantha, did you touch my razor blade, me? You know I'm gonna get violent, baby. All right, uh, apparently she did not take them, so they just mysteriously got up and walked away. So let me see where my walking razor blades are. Gosh darn it. Oh well, okay. So, and I'm only doing this because it's in the video. I normally would just pull these antennas off, but hey, if you're gonna do it right, I, then what you gotta do is take your time. So here's what we're gonna do is we wanna disconnect these three antennas right here, the, uh, the, the, these UFL connections. We wanna separate those. Let me get my razor blade here because I want to cut as best as I can, cut around that. Kind of just, just don't want to break anything or put too much stress on something. So I'll turn it, cut it. There we go. There's one that should be able to come off here pretty quickly. Okay. There's one. Let me just kind of do that here. There we 
there's two and then like I mean you can just twist these off but I'm just telling you if you want to be really careful with it they just put a small little cut in there and then turn them and it's even easier and it puts less stress on the UFL connection on the board itself okay once you have that part done uh, let me make sure I've got this all right here uh, if I remember correctly the rest of this just pulls right up and there you go so this is the original which does not have access on it save it though okay it's good to use it can go to anybody else who needs one so I'm gonna put that aside now I'm gonna take the one with access I'm gonna get ready to put that down so here we go so we'll put that in its place right here get your antenna out of the way okay just like that fits perfectly right in there and then put your antennas back on there's one There's two. There we go. There's three. Now, if you have silicone, uh, like we do, and you can order this from us if you don't have any, it comes in a tube like this, and you put it in a little syringe. Uh, I think somebody took my syringe here for a minute. Uh, as a matter of fact, I know Julio is using it. I'm not going to put silicone on mine because this radio isn't going to keep this upgrade. This is just to show you guys for demo purposes. Okay, that's it. It's done. Everything else is good to go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put the back plate back on. I don't need my Magoo glasses anymore. Put the back plate back on. Just like that. I'll bring the tape back over. Oops, I got it stuck in there. Hold on. And yeah, just bring the tape back over. So it's held back in place here, just like this. Bring this tape back over. Like that. And now I'll put the screws back in. And the hardware part of this is now done. So once this is done, the only thing left is to do a software upgrade to flash this software properly. Okay. screw the worst screwdriver for this let me see if I find something better it's just like making me upset here I think these are two I think that's too wide yeah. and this is too wide also yep uh. Maybe this one, maybe this one. Perfect. That's much easier. All right, so now that we're done with that, um, what you're going to see when you turn it on, you have no problem Welcome doing anything. There you go. TX. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's Switch fine. Warning. Okay, and, okay, so there we go. So everything's done there, guys. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to stop the video here because the next step is going to be the, the software for the software update for this so that you have the right software to run that access. Uh, 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 ISRM module, okay? So I'm gonna go get that file for you. We're gonna come back and do another video real quickly on that one. So get everything done, get everything closed up, and we'll be back here in just a minute. And guys, as always, please take some time and subscribe to our channel. I know we're, we don't have a gajillion followers and I get that, but you know what? My kids look at this and they really appreciate it and they get really excited when we meet a threshold. I have no idea. We're never gonna get like these, these big dudes who have like a billion people watching them, which I really don't care. Um, but it's cool for my kids. So anyways, if you do that, please just support us and always uh, uh, You can also find us on Facebook and please like us there or follow us there What do you do? You follow us on you no know, you subscribe on YouTube and like us or follow us whatever do whatever you can do uh, We'd appreciate the support other than that. God bless be safe. And we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Talk to you soon. Bye